What's up, guys? Uh, wait one second. Sorry, let me shut this off, actually. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Nick White here. If you're new to the channel, uh, I do live coding on Twitch and YouTube, and I do, like, tech and science kind of stuff, so, you know, you can track everything out in the description. I got all my social media and stuff here. Uh, today, we're going to be taking the IBM coding challenge to get to an interview, I'm guessing. Um, we've got three questions. I just started it, and it says we have four hours up here, apparently, and uh, we're, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm in the middle of a 24-7 live stream, so I've been streaming for nine hours right now, um, and I'm taking this on stream, and I'm going to record it, too, and also post it on YouTube, so check it out if you want to see the answers. I'll probably take screenshots of the questions and, you know, figure them out eventually later. Uh, and I'm, you know, planning on failing these. <laughs> the only reason I'm taking it is because it's due tomorrow, right now. But otherwise, I'm going to study for algorithms for the next month before I take any more of these. All right, let's see. Okay, first question. IBM developer opportunities are hired in the following locations. Please rank your top cities in order of preference in the text box below. We'll do our best to match you with the opportunity in your preferred location. However, note that opportunities are limited to each IBM site. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, that's not really a coding question. So, all right. Let's list these and then actually do the coding questions. So, okay. These places look like shit, guys. These places do not look very good uh, to me. Jeez, bro. I guess I'll just put open to all locations just because I want, I mean, IBM, I'm going to take the position probably if they offer it to me. It's freaking IBM, guys, you know. You know. Okay. Here's the next one. Given hourly temperature data for each 24-hour period in P prior days spanning from the start date to end date inclusive, Predict the hourly temperature data for the next n days starting first hour. Oh my god, I can't even read that, bro. That was intense. Hourly temperature data for 24 hour period in P prior days spanning the start and end day inclusive. Predict the hourly temperature data for the next n days after the first hour and end day. Predict temperature. The function must return an array of floating point. Numbers, one predicted temperature for each hour of n days. Da -da -da -da. Given the hourly temperature, 24. Da -da -da -da. Bro. Predict temperature. How do I predict the temperature? What is this? Want me to use machine learning or something? <laughs> IBM cognitive developer test? Oh my god. As if I would ever be the IV an IBM cognitive developer intern. Oh, that's funny. I can't believe I applied to that. I can't believe I even applied to this, bro. Oh. Do you guys know how to do this? <laughs> I'm not going to be a cognitive developer intern. I thought this was a software engineering thing. It's easy. Just let the machine do it. How do I do that, bro? Uh, start date, end date, temperature. Any array, floating point. Starles Jupiter, wow, what's up? What is up, Starless Jupiter? I don't know any, I don't know how to do this cognitive developer test. So, you know, I think I'm going to fail this. There's literally no chance of me interning as a cognitive developer. Um... So, you know, this looks like it requires machine learning and cognitive 
uh, developer probably does machine learning so you know maybe we will move on to this one and see what's up with it um, constructing rules from census data set dude yeah this is literally like machine learning right anyone know how to do this the support capital gain capital loss arranging rules census.csv so we have all these rules da -da 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 -da. I mean dude how am I supposed to I really don't know how to do these at all. I'm not going to spend four hours on this test trying to figure it out. Census data set provided in a CSV consists of attribute age set. Let's see what the census CSV is. Oh my god, bro. What do they want me to do? Holy crap. Alright. We're going to... I think we're done. I think we're already done with this test. It's a little bit difficult for me to figure out. And I'm not going to be, I'm not, there's no way that I am um, going to be a part of this position. Like, there's literally no chance. Here we go, guys. Uh, print. Four I in range zero to ten. Print I. It's pretty good. Your output. Debug output one zero to nine. How do we predict temperatures? Do we have to use like a Markov chain or something? Bang. Bang. For rule in rules, print rule rule. It's going to be pretty good, too, hopefully. What did they want? Expected output. Native country. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, the debug output's not too bad, honestly. There we go. We're done. We're done with the test. Excellent experience. I really liked that. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So that was the IBM Cognitive Developer Intern Test. I didn't know it was a Cognitive Developer Intern position. Uh, I must have accidentally applied to that. Um, I usually only apply to software engineering internships, so uh, my bad. I'm going to have to title it Cognitive Developer Intern Test, and uh, that's basically just gives someone, you know, problems... Um, if they're interested in that position, like, you better watch this video, I guess, but there's no other use for this videos. <laughs> so that's when it's done. That's how, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I hope that they uh, call me back. I mean, I, th I think I did pretty good. I think I got linear runtime. I mean, I definitely got the same output. Uh, I'm just worried about location, you know, because I put I was open to all locations, but, you know, I don't know. But, all right, that's the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching, and check out the descriptions and everything else. So see ya.